<laughs> He'll do fine. Oh, where was I? All right. Let's go to those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, Bucko. What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? We're gonna do a story mode. I messed up some parts in the recording, so I have to do it again. Uh, should be fine. Let me just see here. That looks good. Oh, excuse me. All right, <clears throat> this is gonna be a different character, so. Uh, let's make it. Still gonna go Octoling, I think. But it's gonna be the female character instead. I might actually change my character to female normally. I need to do a new profile because I don't know how to restart. Let's do it. I got our little buddy. Yeah, I rec the recording messed up right away when I started, so I need to redo it from the beginning. So I'm just using a separate profile for this first part. So you actually have the bottle here. Probably gonna not do all this tutorial stuff in the video. I'm gonna cut this out so you don't have to watch it. And you know, fortunate thing is I have to use motor controls. All right, <clears throat> gonna get this nice little cutscene for this store mode playthrough, which is nice. So I include this part at least. I <sighs> shouldn't have eaten so much spicy stuff. My, my stomach is killing me right now. <laughs> also, not a good choice to eat spicy stuff. We're gonna calm down a bit. Might have to pause to go to the bathroom. Who knows? I like this like situation though. <laughs> I really like the eye. There's an eye option for a purple and green, like a green outline on your character's eyes. It's pretty nice. I might actually draw my character as the spatoon art style. I've seen people do tutorials on how to do the spatoon art style. Tune three gamers, let's do it. I currently don't have online on this account, so I'm just gonna go for story mode immediately. You can't skip this first one, unfortunately. But we are gonna. Aha! Oh, this is a part of the story. Nice. The great sapfish is missing. I didn't realize it was a part of the story, so. Hello, Captain Cuttlefish. How you doing? Try to get through this as fast as possible. To be the first part of the, the series. Because I'm currently stuck on a part. I can't... I don't know if you can delete uh, your save file. You can't say... The cool thing is you can save it to cloud now. I'm guessing the save file is only for online. I mean, for single player. I don't know. I kind of want to try it in this and see if it works. But I've already recorded the starting part of this story mode. So I know mo everything in this first part, unfortunately. But he's talking about uh, how the Octarians have stolen the uh, sapfish or stuff like that. It's gone missing before. Or t once or t uh, twice, yeah, twice. I wonder if they have just one great sapfish, because it seems like every area has their own sapfish. I'm guessing that's what it is. I got the hero suit. I guess it's the fully upgraded hero suit, right? <laughs> He'll do fine. Oh, where was I? All right. Let's go to those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, Bucko. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Got this weird goop here. For those who haven't seen it, this is what happens when you go into it. <laughs> you turn into a furball. A floofy furball. 
But the thing I love about the story mode is that you actually throw a little buddy. Kind of interesting. You can actually throw him to get boxes that you normally can't reach. Oh. Ugh. All right. Got a check. A check. Oh, that's to check that. We don't have any of those eggs yet. We need the need the power eggs to open that up. But I played all these levels, just so you guys know. I did not mean to fail the recording, but for some reason the streaming software slash recording software decided to put um, what you call it. The recording folder to the main drive, which is not huge, so it would like got filled up real fast, which is very unfortunate. So yeah, have to replay everything again. I don't like when I have to replay stuff because I failed with the recording. I thought it was all good, good to go. The video is like a gigabyte big, but it doesn't have any video playback, which kind of sucks. And I'd make sure I have everything set up completely next time. Sorry about the inconvenience, you guys don't get to see me react first. But there's so many cool things with story mode. The fact that uh, you use your little buddy to get certain hard to reach areas. You guys are gonna see it pretty soon, of course. <clears throat> well, after this first area, you're, you're just gonna see my first reactions to stuff again. This is a, oh, sorry, little buddy. <laughs> but this is an example. You can throw a little buddy to get the boxes from a distance. I know a lot of you guys probably have already played the story mode, but I haven't. Well, I've played a little bit of it. I didn't know that it would crash like it did. I just have to replay this area to include it into the first episode, which kind of sucks. I wish that wasn't the case. I know sometimes that's required. Even though you don't want to. It's a cool thing that you get all the stuff you... From the boxes as well. Alright, the last area. You can see the, the Octarians that were a little bit fussy nowadays. It's kind of interesting that <clears throat> the Octarians... Uh, I guess all the tentacles are supposed to be from Octavio. Like all his children, I guess. Because whenever you rip it off, it gets, gains its own sentient. We got the first Octo uh, Minisat fish, so that's good. We're gonna try to speed run through this first part. To start playing them the story I want to play. Because <laughs> I already played this part. It's not a bad start to the story mode. It's a nice good start for those who are new to Splatoon. And now you're, you're called Agent 3 now because the other Agent 3 is a captain. I think most people saw that from the trailers. Alright, so now you can use your little buddy. You can power up your little buddy. Yeah. Yes, yes. You can throw your little buddy with powered with the power eggs so you can uh, remove the fuzziness. He gobbled it up like it was nothing. Yes. I love the fact that he sits in your backpack. <laughs> okay, don't start with a bottle in hero mode. I wasn't sure. Seems like that's the case. Oh, need to power him up first. I think that's the only thing I need to remove to go to the next area. Uh, this is like a tutorial section where you get to learn the game, what to do and stuff. It's very good. It's very good. I'll delete the old videos so they don't take up space. And here's like a speedrun swimming through ink area, kind of. It's kind of cool that they have something like this. And if you want to try to get more eggs, you can do that. They make it kind of safe for you. <laughs> you 
It's gonna include all of this, so you guys get to see all of this part of the game. I wanna try to be a, have like videos that are more edited, so they're not just straight up no edits playthrough. Just to not have the boring parts in the included, like it whenever I die a million times <laughs> included. So it's just the actual where I actually get through it. I still need to turn off motion. I guess I could learn how to use motion controls with this uh, single player mode. Oh, I thought I could go damageless, but I failed. <laughs> no damage. It looks like he's gonna eat it. I said that in the first recording. It looks like your little buddy's gonna eat this uh, this app fish. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, they are different than usual, man. That's so weird. Did you read the label? Here, I do it for you. I, I don't know what's going on. Dry clean only. All right. Sink into the ink and swim. All right. I need to open up. Oh wait, forgot. Whatever it is doesn't affect little body. Oh, there's a special thing here. Ooh, yeah, a nice little item you get. I'm pretty trying to play this as I did before, so it's not any different to what I did before. And I got that in, in my first playthrough. So unfortunate that I messed up because I didn't pick the right recording folder. I just realized something, I forgot something. Sorry guys. Forgot to have the gameplay audio to max. Gonna be a pain. <laughs> I got, I'm just gonna edit it. It's fine. Uh, I get that. There we go. Next kettle. <clears throat> I think there's like four, six kettles in this first part. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's been not been long since I recorded the last part. Cause I just decided to do another recording. But this is a really good map if you want to learn certain things about the single player. Because you can grab the key right here. And uh, the cool thing about Little Buddy is he can do so much. I'm so glad they added Little Buddy to the game. That you have some companion with you. It's very nice. Because you can actually throw Little Buddy on these. Oops. You need to throw him off the level. And he can actually trigger them for you. And he can stay on them too. That's an interesting... Uh, Special thing. Wait, you can actually call a little buddy. I love the thing, the fact that it made the special like a permanent thing that you can get. So cool. But yeah, you can't throw it on that, I think. You need to throw it on the main one. There's an example. You can throw it over here to actually get over. It's so cool. It's like, it feels a lot more like, you know, the typical, uh, you know, like retro games that have like a companion kind of thing. And you can jump up here. They already know all this because I've already done it before. It's not going to be a lot of I've already done this moments uh, in the rest of it. Just I'm like not looking that much on Twitter at the moment. So, all right. Do we have one key? Yeah, we have one. So we need one more. Uh, do we have both? No. There's one more key that needs to be collected. Not here. Oh, there's a key right there. I missed stupid. I missed the key for some reason. It's all good. I just forgot to pick up the key. Silly me. All right, this is the second key. Gonna unlock this to get to the sapfish. 
So the, the story mode stuff is not bad, and I guess I get some practice with motion controls to try to get better with it. I did pretty well when I decided to enable it, you know? Alright. <clears throat> Agent 3 over. Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? Agent 1 and 2. Gramps has wandered off again. Over. Well, what are you waiting for, Agent 2? Let's go collect him. Roger that, stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? <laughs> you are. Cuddle, I found you. <clears throat> Boxes locked. Keys, please. <laughs> Didn't realize it actually said that. But yeah, I'm gonna go over here slowly but surely. Oh crap. <laughs> Are you transformed into fussy, fussy, li fussy lings? Oh boy. Just slowly get through here without touching it. All right. Oh, oh, I need to aim like this. Okay, here we go. Bonk. It's only 200 eggs to get rid of that. For the next area. I don't mind this like first linear thing. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I wonder what happened to Agent 4, though. I haven't seen Agent 4 yet from the past. This, this current situation I've gone through. I've not seen the old, uh, old Agent 4 from Splatoon 2. I guess Agent 4 turned into the captain. I don't remember. I know at least that... be here baby we get all of them boxes you know to get through this part just to get as much as possible I, I don't know how what you have to get or if this is just the intro thing so you can't get anything to like 100% of you it's just beating the level probably in this first part I don't know I'm not sure if I will 100% because I never did for the other Splatoon games. I just wanted to play through the story to know what happens next, you know. Yeah, there is some kind of auto aim with this uh, motion control stuff. I, I, I see why people keep splatting me all the time. Another sap, mini sapfish collected. Let's go. But yeah, for those who are watching this far in, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm not sure why the frame rate is dropping though. That's weird. Maybe I should have a simpler scene for recording. I'm not sure. I hope it's not too laggy, you guys. It's just dropping to like five f f frames. All right. The last pelt. How much is it? Wait. Oops. Oh, small fry. Get back here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, am I not close enough? There we go. I wasn't close enough to get rid of the big part of this. All gone. <laughs> Small fry just fell down. I already had to fight this boss in this area, so I know who it is. I think a lot of people can tell who it is at this first scene here. I am here. Ya ha ha. I finally found you, cuttlefish. My Octarian troops have gone missing. And I know you are behind it. There he blows. It's DJ Octavio. 
Up to your old tricks, eh? Give this great sapfish back. Agent 3, this DJ is a headliner for the entire Octarian army. Take him out. Quit spewing nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop the latest hit. Right on your smug little face. Octobot King L3 GS. I love the fact that you can use your special infinitely. You just have to get the ink turf. Got the typical Octo Octavio. Not Auto Octavio. Like a DJ Octavio. I don't know why I said Auto Octavio for some reason. Showing some disrespect to him. <clears throat> Can I shoot those back. Pew! It's a very like samey thing right now. Just the same thing over and over. Uh, there is some like uh, changes kind of, but not the best. Now he has to vacuum. I throw the little buddy into the vacuum because I figured that out last time. I'm so sad that I can't give you guys the uh, the original recording, because uh, it was so exciting that I figured out stuff, you know, that your little body can get stuck in the vacuum. I don't know if that's really a good thing, but it's a way to, like, prevent him from vacuuming off your ink when you're trying to shoot uh, his hand. Because he would, like, vacuum your hand, uh, his own hand, so you can shoot it with ink. I guess he is the inventor of the... Oh, He's probably the inventor of the vacuum ability, because <laughs> he is the one using it first. Oops. Shoot it back. I don't remember how many times you had to shoot. I think it's not too many. Oh, DJ, there you are. Bonk. I love the spider shot, uh, the hero shot in this game. I think it's going crazy now. Oh yeah, he's doing the slap now. Oh, that that does a wave. I didn't realize that it does a wave thing. Uh, it never hit the ground last time I played. Huh. He always like removes the first hand too fast, so you can't hit it. Yeah, you can actually use the special if you want to instantly take out the DJ or any of the hands like this. Boop. So you can actually use your special on the boss fights, which is going to be very useful with certain boss fights, probably. This is a nice start, uh, start boss fight for the game, I think. Oh, ow. Got the action. Managed to shoot it. I think that's the last hit. Yeah. Every time. So sad. It's kind of interesting we get to fight Octavio because he thinks we stole his army or something. I guess I am playing as an Octoling, but that's not a part of his army, I'm pretty sure. It's just a. Uh, Unique version of the Octarians. <clears throat> Not fair.
Your gear is way too strong. You put a weak show, Octavio. Your, your set list is getting old, or maybe it's just you. Seriously, it was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the sapfish power. Muted fool. I didn't steal the sapfish this time. But you didn't? But if it wasn't you then, who was it? <clears throat> oh crap. <laughs> Agent 3 help me! Ah! <laughs> But yeah, I made it to this part, and then uh, I realized the capture wasn't working. But this time it is, which is nice. Wait, what? Why are these guys here? Anywho. Gonna be able to go back to the other, uh, other account to finish. I got this nice little cutscene. <laughs> An eye view of... Uh, our little buddy. Now this is what, what this was in the trailer too. Splatoon three. I guess it kind of showed the, the unique language of the Splatoon language. <sighs> Excuse me. It's pretty late right now. It's eleven p.m. I'm gonna go and talk to them. I wonder if it's gonna be. Oh, I think it's gonna be a female in the middle. So you guys are gonna get to see that. I have a male on my main account, though. There's, there it is. You are Agent 3, right? The Gramps enlisted you to. And you're a small fry. Yep, I knew it. I seen the look in your eyes that has al I have always been looking for. It's nice to meet you. I guess we should uh, introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the Squid Back Splatoon. I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2. Get pumped. Anyways, our last crew member introduced is our captain. The new, new Squid Back Splatoon. Okay. <laughs> it's just silence. <laughs> But yeah, the, the the captain is gonna be a male in my playthrough. It's just uh, I had to use a new new account to play this. Cause I'm guessing the single player save data is probably the only save data for Splatoon. And the multiplayer is saved on like the the game storage. But I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. Please help us for Gramps. So um. They're in probably. Just too excited about looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So Gramps is real in the new Agent 3. Glad to have you. <laughs> I love how like emotionless the main character is. Called the Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time. We can count six islands so far. What should we call them? Scythe or something? Uh, you gotta mention the humongous rocket over there. Look at that. Way to steal the thunder away. Anyway, we're putting tracking a uh, tracking device on Gramps, as one does. But now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of the, those places out. You updated your map a little bit. Tell me how much you love it. <laughs> now it tries the places you have already visited and lights it up. When you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm near by a buried treasure, I guess. We're here to look for grams, not treasure. And uh, I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker anyway. Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes. But yeah, it has basically the upgrade system in this game. You use upgrade points to upgrade. And center demon down here. To unlock stuff. I guess that's like the skill points kind of. Wait, is this going to be open world kind of? Because you can see all the islands from here. Never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong gram signal like the next side over. Go check it out. Okay. Dude. Oh, we got a... 
Oh, oh, you can actually... I didn't know you could do this. I'm such a stupid piece of poo. But yeah, I'm going to have to end it here. I'm going to continue this story uh, in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the character's not going to be female uh, in the next part. But I just wanted to see what it looks like. The way they stand in this game is weird. Maybe it's just me. Alright. She, she talks for the captain, apparently. Anyway. But yeah. This looks so cool. I can't wait to play through more. But I'm only going to play through one part right now because I'm very tired. But when I'm more happy and uh, awake, it's going to be more fun to play through. But thanks to everyone who joined this uh, video all the way through the end. You guys are awesome. I didn't know you can actually return to the crater and replay it. I wish I knew that. <laughs> but that's fine. We got this uh, full episode complete. A 30 minute episode. I think they're going to be around 15 minutes each. Probably. Or maybe more if you guys want more longer episodes. See you guys in the next one. Have an awesome rest of your day. Goodbye.